The Dark Crystal, a 1982 fantasy classic directed by Jim Henson and Frank Oz, follows Jen, a Gelfling who's drawn into an epic power struggle between the cruel Skeksis and the wise and ancient mystics, when he's tasked to seek and return a missing shard of a powerful magic crystal. Taking place on a fictional planet named Thra, this film shines with amazing organic special effects and unique character and set designs, making it, in my opinion, one of the most creative fantasy films of all time. As is typical with fantasy, the journey is more important than the destination. I don't want to go too heavy into the plot because spoilers, and I'd be here all day. Plus, Robot Chicken already did it better. Stop the prophecy. There's no stopping me. Gelfman's gonna help things. Pretty soon we'll be popping C. R I S to the T A L. Full throttle. Face the bottle and break that spell. What I really want to talk about here is the set design and special effects work. Let's get the elephant out of the room first. The Gelflings look silly. It really stands out. Why make the main character the least elaborate and, let's face it, least impressive character in this entire film? I just don't get it. I guess they were trying to make him vaguely human looking, but not human. I think we might have been better off with an actor in this role, or at least a more elaborate puppet. And that's really my only complaint with this entire movie. Well, that and some of the nightmare fuel scenes. There are a lot of amazing things done here. The other races that inhabit this world look great and varied. From the twisted Skeksis and the ugly but only on the outside witch Agra, to the cute but ferocious ball of fur Fizgig, or the wise and kind looking mystics. The rest of the world is filled with tiny details and amazing creatures, all done organically. The setting really feels real, and you can tell a ton of attention to detail went into every frame of this film, which mostly is to the credit of the conceptual artist, Brian Froud. Overall, this movie paints a picture of a beautiful yet dark fantasy world, and makes it come to life in ways that no other film has ever dared. The Henson Company is known for this kind of thing, but this movie stands out as a prime example even among Henson Productions of the now-dying art of organic special effects and just pure uninhibited creativity. At the time of this video, there's been a sequel floating around in development for almost a decade, which could be cool if they pay respect to the classic arts and use it as a chance to show off what we can do with practical effects in our modern era. I mean, they wouldn't just make it a CGI fest, right? Right? Well, we failed you, Jim! As far as the original film itself, I highly suggest checking it out if you're into fantasy, organic effects, or just good movies in general. I rank it among the best fantasy films of all time, so if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. And if you have, leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts. Once again, this was Fade Dragon Tear. Thanks for watching. Peace out.